All right, I'm going to show you how to import sermon slides um, into ProPresenter. Uh, a couple important things that I'm assuming. Uh, number one is that the person making the slides has sent them to you, um, and you have them on hand. Uh, well, that's number two, is that you have them on hand, uh, the slides. And you can do that via Google Drive or email it to yourself or however you want to get the file onto this computer. Um, I'm assuming that you know where the file is on this computer, so you can... Uh, find it or via Google Drive. Sometimes Google Drive can be a little finicky uh, with this computer and not really work directly as much as I'd like. All right, well, assuming we have the file somewhere we can find, we go to File, Import, PowerPoint. Um, there's another video, by the way, on how to create sermon slides from scratch. Um, for this video, we're assuming that somebody else has made the slides and you're just dropping them in. Okay, so sermon slides seven. Today is July 11th. This is what we're going to be using. Uh, what's really handy is there's this nice little preview window so you can make sure the slides are correct and the verses make sense, all that good stuff. Um, on the bottom, there's an option. We just import the, J, the slides as JPEG images. Um, yeah, so that went pretty quickly because I knew where I was looking. Um, I, I usually download the files to the Sunday's 2021 folder since it's currently the year of our Lord 2021. Um, but yeah, as long as you know where to find it, that's what really matters. Okay, we're ready to import. We go to open. And it's gonna think about it for a while. Um, there may actually be uh, a message for us down here from PowerPoint. That happens sometimes uh, while it's thinking about it. Okay, so it is processing the slides little by little. Um, so yeah, there's a slight process to it and that's totally fine. Sometimes it'll auto close or it just leaves the window open. Um, and that's, that's fine, We're just downsize that. So we're gonna have to look at it. Um, okay, I'm not sure what that was all about. <laughs> all right, well they found the file. It imported into our library. So over here on the left hand side, we have all the slides in this window here, so that's fantastic. So it seems pretty simple. We drop the sermon slides, they're all JPEGs, drop them into the service. It'll be towards the end of the service. But there are a couple more things to do uh, before we're all done. Um, first thing, we're gonna make sure all the slides have a nice fade transition to them. To do that, um, let's see. So these are the sermon slides. We go to uh, the transition button here. We make sure they all have a half second dissolve on them, so that's good. All right, that's nice. Uh, the next thing we need to do is make sure that whatever the slide shows is on the back TV for the person delivering the sermon. To do that, we right click on the very first slide. We use Add Queue Stage Display Layout, and this is the layout that will be shown on the TV in the back. Uh, worship is used for the, the lyrics slides, and this slides format is just a duplication. So whatever's on the back screen will also be, uh, I'm sorry, whatever's on the main screen up front in the sanctuary will also be on the rear TV at the rear of the sanctuary. Good. So with that little circle icon that shows us that uh, that's going to be showing on the back TV. So the person preaching won't need to look behind them to see what's on the, the screen behind them. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. We've got our cue. We've got the leer, or I'm sorry, we've got the, the fade on there. Uh, one more thing that happens with PowerPoint slides, and I don't know why. All right, let's go back a little bit. Let's imagine this prayer thing is happening. Okay, we've gone through these blank slides, and we go to start... There's going to be a big white flash. Ba boom Oh man, we don't want that. I don't know why it defaults to this. It's a pretty silly setting, but I don't know how to change it, so here's what we get. All right, we go on the first slide, click the editor, or you can right-click and edit slide either way. You just need to edit the slide. All right, we've got our editing view here. Now up at the top right, we've got this little um, menu of different tabs. You want to go to paper icon, document properties, and just uncheck the box that says background. That's where that white flash comes in. It goes from a pure white background fading into the slide, and that's what creates that flash effect. So if we unclick the background, it just removes that white background, whatever. I don't know, again, I don't know why that's there. That's silly. 
Okay, so we're going to now get back into our slide and let's see if that worked. So we go back to the prayer thing, we fade into the slide, does it pop? Nope, it's very nice. And all the slides uh, cycle nicely. The other thing is um, this monitor shows us what's on the TV and that's working great. It's fading, it's showing us exactly what's on the slide. This is the correct way to insert sermon slides that have already been made.